Hello, and welcome to my home studio here in the beautiful city of San Francisco. My name is Luke Argila. I am a musician, producer, mix engineer, and I've been writing and producing music for over 20 years now. I'm a part of a drum and bass group called Bachelors of Science, and I run a little record label called Code Recordings. I was also nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Immersive Audio Album for my work on the Dolby Atmos version of Yacht's Chain Tripping. I got my first demo of Dolby Atmos music back in 2013 and immediately started hanging out in the labs as much as they would let me to mix my own tunes in this incredible format. Hearing my music this way was like nothing I'd ever experienced before and I was completely hooked. I hung around long enough that eventually they offered me a gig and I've been working at Dolby now since 2016. I'm super excited to share with you some of the ways that Dolby Atmos music can unlock entire worlds of creative possibilities that you can use in your own music and productions. If you're brand new to Dolby Atmos, let me give you a brief overview. Dolby Atmos is an object-based, immersive audio format which allows you to create music beyond the conventional stereo limitations of left and right channels and gives you the freedom to make mixes with more clarity, space, and depth. The result is being able to deliver your ideas with more possibility and for the music to be heard and felt more by the listener. When mixing in Dolby Atmos music, you now have the ability to place individual elements of a song around in multi-dimensional space, in front, behind, and above the listener. This separation can reveal enhanced fidelity and nuances that aren't possible in stereo-based mixing and creation. In Dolby Atmos, you also have the ability to automate movements of these audio objects so they move around in space during the course of the song. This can be random or completely rhythm and time based. You can record the movements that become new expressive parts of the instrument or song. First, let's take a look at how to quickly get you up and running in your DAW for creating and mixing Dolby Atmos music. The Atmos music creation tools are flexible allowing you to mix in both headphones and speakers, and you should be able to easily fit Atmos into your music workflow. You're able to create expressive and dynamic music mixes in Atmos, and we'll get into some more of those detailed explanations on the creative choices in another video. Here are a few key terms to know when mixing music in Dolby Atmos. Beds represent single or groups of channels that send audio to speaker locations. Whereas objects you can think of as sounds that you can pan or place freely throughout the immersive space. It's this combination of beds and objects which allow Atmos mixes to expand or collapse to many combinations of speaker setups, from headphones to home theaters and all the way to concert halls and cinemas. The creative choices you make in the mix are preserved in the song the same way any other mix choice or automation would be. Later down the line, these same choices are baked into the Dolby Atmos master file and will then translate across a huge variety of consumer playback environments such as headphones, soundbars, smart speakers, mobile devices, home theater setups, and cars while staying true to your creative intent. Artists, producers, and engineers across all styles of music, from the most underground independents to the biggest record labels on the planet are using the incredible power of Dolby Atmos to create exciting immersive experiences for their upcoming releases, as well as their back catalogs. Masters are easily distributed to the music streaming services for fans to hear on the wide range of Dolby Atmos enabled devices. In this series of videos, we'll walk through several key parts of the Dolby Atmos music creation process, including basics for getting started, how to set up your music studio, production workflows for making music, working with binaural metadata for headphone mixing and playback, and creation of Dolby Atmos master file deliverables. Throughout the videos, I'll share some tips and best practices I've developed in my years of creating Dolby Atmos music that you can apply to your workflow. With an expanded space for more instruments, more depth, and more creative options, it's important to take chances and experiment, think creatively, and most importantly, have fun while mixing in Dolby Atmos. Let's dive in. There are many different ways you can configure your studio to mix in Dolby Atmos. In my room, I use the Dolby Atmos Mastering Suite with Pro Tools Ultimate. I also use Logic and Ableton from time to time. Other Dolby Atmos compatible DAWs include Nuendo and Resolve. Dolby Atmos music production is flexible, but there are some key pieces to keep in mind as you get started. The Dolby Atmos renderer is the main engine that connects to your DAW and allows you to access 128 channels of audio within this environment. 
There is a 712 bed, which accounts for the first 10 channels and up to 118 object channels. The renderer will enable you to define speaker layout configurations, monitor the playback of your Dolby Atmos mix, as well as export your master files and much, much more. The software renderer is a part of the Dolby Atmos production tools download, which includes the music panner and binaural settings plugin. The Dolby Audio Bridge is a core audio device driver that connects your DAW to the renderer and panner. The Dolby Atmos music panner will connect virtually as AAX, VST, or audio unit to the renderer and allow you to write pattern-based sequences and record automation for audio objects. Here you can define the height, size, placement, and or movement. In these videos, I will be using the music panner as well as the native panner in Pro Tools. The binaural settings plugin allows you to set binaural metadata for delivery of mixes and controls the settings within the renderer. These software tools are available as a download within the Dolby Atmos production suite. The Dolby Atmos mastering suite typically runs on a second machine, which allows more flexibility to manage higher channel count and provides added CPU power. Dolby Atmos can be created with nothing more than a laptop and a pair of headphones. As for speaker setups, we recommend a minimum of a 714 system, which outputs to 12 speakers. This will give you a full range to monitor and direct placement of elements within the sound field. You can also create and monitor your mix using the binaural output through the renderer, but it's always recommended that you reference your mixes on a studio speaker setup to make sure everything is translating as expected. One of the great things about Dolby Atmos is that one mix will translate between many playback systems, including headphones, but just like in traditional stereo, it's important to monitor for translation from headphones to speaker systems. A 714 system includes left, right, center, left side surround, right side surround, left rear surround, right rear surround, LFE, and four overhead height speakers. There are other speaker configurations that can be managed within the renderer, such as a 914, which add left and right wide speakers. We'll go more into speaker layout and requirements in another video. From your DAW, you have many different options for audio interfaces. If you're running a 714 system like me, you'll need an interface with at least 12 outputs. I'm using the Apollo X16, but there are many interfaces which can meet this requirement. We'll go into I.O. routing and specific setup for Pro Tools in the next video. You'll also want to use a dedicated system for tuning all the speakers in your room. I'm using the JBL Intonato for control and tuning. I also have this handy Avid S1 control surface to give me more flexibility with mixing, and also within Pro Tools, I can use this as a touchscreen panner. This is certainly something that helps my workflow when mixing, but it's not required. For monitoring Dolby Atmos and binaural, I'm using Odyssey LCD X headphones. Again, just like speakers and other gear you see here, you can use the trusted headphones of your choice. These are some of the basics for hardware and software, and there are many other options to explore to fit your needs. Go to our Dolby Atmos music creation site at dolby.com slash music slash create. You can download a free trial of the Dolby Atmos production suite here. This site also has additional resources like our quick start guide with info on the best practices, a directory of music studios enabled for Dolby Atmos mixing, video content featuring pros discussing their experiences with Dolby Atmos and much more. Throughout this video series, I'll show a lot of workflows and techniques that can be further explored with self-paced learning, downloadable content, and hands-on exercises over at learning.dolby.com. This curriculum is expansive and covers system installation and configuration, content creation workflows, and Dolby Atmos master file creation. Join us for the next video. We'll take a closer look at how to set up your studio and DAW.